Okay, so last part of this, just practicing calculating volumes and surface areas. So we have our volumes here. The volumes are easier to calculate than surface area. So we're going to start with the volume. So I'm just going to break this up into, actually, I'm going to do this like that. Yeah, I'm going to break it up. So if we're going to look at this, I'm going to take look at this as a prism. I'm just going to find this L area and give that L area depth, and I'll get the volume of this. Some people may want to break this up into a rectangular prism here and a rectangular prism and add those two volumes together. Okay, then that's perfectly fine. So here I've got uh, this height's 40 along here, and the whole height is 60. So this height here should be 20, 20 millimeters. Okay, so if I calculate this area, this is going to be 80 times 20 or 1,600 millimeter squares. If I want to calculate this area here, it's going to be 40 this way. Uh, since it's 80 across and 60 here, this is going to be 20 wide. So 40 times 20 is going to give me 800 millimeters squared. Okay, so the area of the surface, so I'm going to do in red, the area of this surface is 2,400 millimeters squared. And I'm going to multiply that by the depth. The depth in this case is going to be this way, so it's going to be 10 millimeters. So the volume of this object works out to be uh, 24,000 millimeter cubes. Okay, so that's my total volume of that object. I want to do the surface area. To do the surface area, I need to make sure I account for all the surfaces. So I'm going to draw my net. Okay, so this is going to be 2,400. We already calculated that. Okay, the bottom surface is going to be 80 by 10, so 800. And I'm just going to go around and make sure I have all the surfaces. So there's my toe. Okay, there's my the top of that. I'm going to go backwards here. There's the back. There's the very top. There's kind of this area here. We I'm going to call it the shin. So there's my shin area. Okay, so then I go about calculating these areas. So this is a 10 by 20, so 200. This in here is 60 by 10, so that's 600 millimeter squares. On the back, that's going to be 60 by 10 again, so that's going to be 600 in here. The top is 20 by 10, so 200, and then this area here is going to be 40 by 10, so 400. So I've counted for all my surfaces. That's the important part. That's what the hard part's going to be is, is organizing your counting. So I'm going to add up all these surfaces, 600, 200, 800, 600, 200, 400, and then plus my two side pieces. I'm just going to add those together, just make that 4,800, okay, add them all up. So I get 